All right, I'm gonna take a shot at figuring out if it is possible to quickly make the change I wanna make. Uh, what I'm gonna do is change right bumper to change my left stick and square. A few minutes later. That was confusing. That was some setup there. <laughs> well, the, it's, it's figured out. It took me only 23 minutes to figure it out. But yeah, now, now I have like proper. Why is this not the default? When I get the time, I'm going to publish this to Steam and say, hey, like. Uh, you know, obviously I don't care about, like, the, the developer can make whatever they want, but I'm at least going to say, hey, players, <laughs> if you're looking at the list of Steam configuration files, try this one, it's pretty legit. Where you've got your R2, you hold R2 to shoot, which means that you're not, you're not moving your right thumb to, um, to the right stick for no reason. It doesn't need him either. You can't move anyways while you're, while you're aiming. There's a few areas that were very similar looking that I think I might have missed. Let me double check. So this is where I came in. Did I not go through this doorway? Did I look like I looked at it and, and yeah, crap. I think I went through this area, went through that. I saw I went to the doorway and it was closed. Right, I didn't interact with it or what? Like, let me see. Does this does this require the fucking key that I had? No, can't get it all. So this is an exit then, because they want me to um, land down there, and then use the use uh, Umbra to get out. Oh, I, I didn't know where I was in the screen. Yeah, I appreciate that. That helps a lot. Because my sense of direction is trash. You piece of shit. I want to see what you're doing, though. Is this... Ah, dick. Ah, oh, that's gonna kill me, too. Shit. <laughs> Crap. Alright, well, that's fine. We're... Anywhere to go, at least. Did I even go in this room? I think I went into an identical one and kept thinking that I had already passed by it, because some of these corridors look identical. I really do think I had done something like that, though. I guess I don't, I don't know why you wouldn't shoot if you can just get infinite ammo with this, right? Like in these areas, anyways. Most of the of the trick here is just to make sure not to mess up the... Uh, ...navigating around as much. Okay, that's definitely locked out for now. Gotta look for random shadow creatures who are gonna try to attack me. Well, 
sort of like a... Uh, what do you call that? What's the name of that term for, um... Uh... Astral projecting. Oh, can you go through? No. It just stays, though. Hmm. What did I... Well, does that reset, then? No. I think your ammo is refilling, or something is causing that sound between rooms, and I don't know what. Wait, that if that didn't open, then I... Oh, no. What happened? It, then what, I, I don't know what the button did. It's an, an entrance in the upper level? I mean, uh, where the, the gate was? Yeah. Hmm. We'll go back to the other door. Top left of this of this room, I guess. Oh. I definitely like some of the shapes of some of the rooms don't strike me as And then I can go the other way again. Some of the entrances to these rooms don't strike me as entrances. Consistently, like uh like, sometimes I see a little recess like this, and I I expect... I don't immediately perceive it as a doorway. I sometimes just perceive it as the shape of the wall. I almost kind of wish they had a more... Like, see how this has such a nice art for this side of the doorway? And then the other side is just the tile opening up like this? I kind of wish there was a little bit, like, unique art to, to designate that side. To kind of indicate, like, okay, well, you can go through. Just so you can recognize it way more quickly. A lot of games will do, like, light or something coming out of it as well, or... Alternatively, if it's a dark spot, if it's a dark room, then... They'll just have a, a you know, it'll have a little haziness to it. It'll be slightly darker, just to, to kind of remind you. Just like little things like that. I mean, that's it's the same way that like once you start paying more attention to Blight Town, uh, like I needed to do, the majority of the ladders are all marked with torches, and that's like they're almost their exclusive use for torches. Path the chest. Ah. Oh yeah, I keep, I keep thinking these are one of the open ones, because they looked... See how, like, it doesn't look distinctly open, it just looks kind of damaged? I, I didn't even catch what I picked up, I think it was just money. Yeah, some stuff like that, like... This chest does not strike me as an open chest, it just strikes me as sort of like the chest, kind of more broken looking. Maybe, like, dampen out the colors and then brighten the the open one, or make the silhouette a bit more recognizable. Yeah, some of this, like the signifiers in this game, are just a little bit vague in ways that throw me off. Seems like a boss fight. I I'm stuck here. Oh, no, no, yeah, this is one of these. Okay, I guess they, they're trying to indicate, like, that at least. I wish it played like a, like, more of a repelling sound, but I guess that's supposed to indicate I can't destroy this thing. If that doesn't strike me as a can't do damage to its sound. These things. Oh, really? I took two from that?
That is a long way to go. Crap. Alright, well. Definitely I'm going to have to start bringing the... Probably the triple crossbow, I guess. Well, mm, not until... Let me get a little further in first. I literally almost jumped in. Oh, okay, this stays open. That's that's helpful. Now I've got to remember where the doorway was. I remember to use those grenades too. Theoretically, I could just run right in, I would think, right? Oh yeah, yeah, the dark power, I forgot. I, I had been committing to not using it. Because, uh... One of the, one of the early challenges is just, just not using it. Are we talking now? No. Not yet, we're not. Oh, is this... Has, I had to stand on, on it and then use it. There's a mask. What are you? Okay, it opens one of the doors. Yeah, I hadn't... I, the funny thing is I hadn't really thought to pay any mind to the... You know what's funny, actually, looking at this? This area, like, so, so there's no recession in the wall, but having both of these, uh, both of the fires here and the floor makes me think more of a doorway than, than uh, what the other ones had. I'm gonna go and, uh, let's go quickly save. Funny how there's so many little tricky things about making games readable that you don't think about it until you see them. A lot of that, like, so distinct, but also sub so so uh, so transparent that you would never notice. Kind of like design language. A lot of repeating symbols and. Visuals, textures, iconography. Are you a statue? White crow. Oh, I needed a key. Okay, I had the black crow key and the white crow key now. Surely one of them opens up something. One of the doors? This is the crying. I don't need to do that. 
I'm gonna make sure I had saved, by the way. I, I'm a little bit concerned I have not. Are we... we're not chatting yet? Oh, I agree. You killed... did you kill everybody? Yep. Thanks. <laughs> Can at least leave one. You don't need all of them. What are you gonna do with all that? He would meet. It goes bad, you know. I don't think you have Victorian era fridges and stuff. That's the key. Oh, I see. We're gonna work right on over. You got these? I guess we're not opening it. Oh. Hey, Dyson. Well, apparently they have not discovered the technology of wall chickens. Crap. Oh, good. I was, I'm glad I was able to cancel real quick. Oh, I'm, I'm sitting there going, like, why can't I shoot through this goop? Also, that finally explains the meowdy thing, by the way. <laughs> It's all coming together now. Pressing the wrong button. Hey, you dick. That's... I mean, I... I don't know if I think I should have seen that or not. Just imagine if I only had one HP, that would be rough. That would be like a player would quit moment. <laughs> hey Mel. Personally, you're a fan of Stalker's floating psychic fridges. Which Stalker was that from? I only played the first one. I kind of... I don't know... I don't know if I think... Oh, jeez. Okay, you cut that shit out. I don't know if, uh... If it still holds up, but the first one was pretty damn cool. Yeah, I don't remember which anomalies existed in the... F in the... in the first game. I thought it was mostly just, like, shit that shocks you when you... When you, uh, try to go in or, like, makes you... Uh, ragdoll spin upwards or stuff. Whatever. I, when I streamed the first one, it was pretty great, though. It, ra it ran kind of mediocre for me, but it also was just unsettling and cool. I'm not sure how far away I am from... This. Well, we're not far from the safe. We are one inspired. Do you mean, um... Enter the Radius, or do you mean something else? Uh, Mal had played that. I don't know where it is, uh... You played a mod years back on scene that combined all the maps, specifically with an area in the third game. Combined all the maps? I mean, there's no loading between them? I think if I was a full-time streamer and I had extra time for, you know, all that, I would, uh, I would be looking into, like, what else can I... 
the sandbox mod. If I was a full-time streamer and I had effectively a of time. Then I would be... Is it just under... Ah, uh, yeah. I'd be playing... I'd be going back to way more of these games. Soccer Anomaly is probably what you played. Fuse all three games together and made them work in Call of Pripyat. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder how that, uh, I wonder if that holds up. I think I, I think I bugged that, that creature out. It's making the sound like it's trying to shoot at me. Did you play? Was mine called Call of Chernobyl? Uh, huh. That's the last painting. Oh, King doesn't look too happy. Painting depicts a lonely knight sitting on his throne, sword bathed in blood. Probably because he had to kill everybody. That's definitely the last one. Oh right, yeah, that's 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 a. Yep, yeah, you cannot. You cannot live on the goop. save. <laughs> I still want to, I want to, I really want to interact with this in some way. Like, I feel like that's so strategically placed just to keep happening over and over again every time you go back. Just to remind you that this dude's out and waiting. Alright, I think where we left off, I had just gotten to the point where I think I can... I guess I got the last painting to activate the music box? I think, I mean... Unfortunately, uh, I'm the only one who, who remains, because, you know... Surprise, surprise. Right? Whatever the name of the dude was, uh... The one who was laughing at me... I can see if I can find the name of this. Um... Is it in the feathers, maybe? Uh, nope. So it's like uh, the the marquee something, or what was what was the name of the? Uh, no, I can't remember what the name of the dude was. But there's like some some dude like teleporting around and uh, egging me on, and seems to be involved in all of this. Oh, I should probably read. Uh, the statues as well, so... Um... The king is the last one, I believe? And so the gift is... Let me see... Hmm... Hmm. 
Hmm. I think the stranger, the maiden, the newborn, and the king, I think. Oh, right, right, right. What's the, what was the, is it just, right, it is, I keep, I keep forgetting this. It's the, uh, same button you use to attack. So, stranger? Maiden, newborn king? Yeah. Alright, what awaits? That was a very abrupt cutscene. That's the dude! That's the one who's been looking at me. Oh. Oh, just like that. Alderam the Fallen Crow. Well, I used some good damage with that gun. Oh, jeez. Okay. Your damage is ridiculous. I also forgot what the button was to heal. Top button. Okay. No, no, no. Purple? No. Shit, I've already forgotten. Not L2. I gotta even look at the controls real quick. I can't. I'm wearing out of buttons to remember. I completely forgot whatever the button was. Whoops, that's not even it. What was the button to heal? I forgot. Alright, well, let me uh, get a quick refresher. Hey, thanks for the sub, Peter. What was the button? I've already forgotten what the button was. Oh, deep head up. Right. No wonder. I don't have dark grasp at all. I don't think. No, okay. Deep head up. That's what I forgot. Okay, let's try this again. Oh yeah, yeah, no prob. I uh, typically the uh, the times at which I stream are really inconvenient for everybody else, so it, I guess that makes sense. Plus, I, I'm not streaming at like a consistent schedule. Usually, the only way I get raids tends to be if I stream like ultra late, or sometimes early. Assuming I'm not like, nah, yeah, I guess so. Most of the time, I am coming in after uh, a lot of the soul streamers are done. All right, deep head up. Head in the game, let's go fucking kill this thing. Right. Alright, you need to stop that. I keep forgetting that I'm not allowed to swing in a diagonal direction. Ah, wrong button again. It's uh so the button I keep thinking is this is the the special button is the one that uses your uh my ammo. The one that uh, takes out Umbra. Doing good damage, just being really sloppy. Thought I dodged properly. Oh, jeez. Second phase. 
Oh, we're doing the whole... Okay, that's, this is fine. This is easy enough. Oh, I see. That's tricky. Okay. Okay, I can I can make this work, though. I'm still inclined to rebind my controls again, though. I need to... Uh, like, some of the controls are, like, less wearable than to be. Like, the, the ability to swap out to Umbra should just be the D-pad or something. It, it needs to be something off of the, uh, off of the standard face button, so I stop hitting it. Already with my ability there. You can see me like dashing after the fact because I'm queuing it up. It's funny too, I'm doing good damage, I just gotta like get my head back together with all the inputs. a lot of damage. I don't know what they're doing, but I'm not too thrilled with what's going on here. That was a big mistake. I haven't quite figured out what's causing the boss to heal yet. Can I skip the cutscene here? I can. Or I sort of can. You can't... I, I'm assuming, yeah, you can't attack those. Very, very bad start. Yeah, this is sloppy, this particular one. Second phase, getting the second phase is really easy. Even if I'm super sloppy with it. I think those are the ones doing the healing. Yeah, these gotta go. You know, the, sa the sad part about this too is I think this counts as a prime hunt, which means doing this quickly... Oops, wrong button again. Doing this as a prime hunt would be really good for me. Uh, or doing this uh, in 2.5 minutes, I should say. Would be really good, if I can. I'm kind of debating, like, you do the same damage with all the weapons so far. I'm gonna switch to... I'm going to switch to the claws because they're a little bit faster. And like, it, this boss is going to outrange me, so it doesn't matter where I am. Let's see if this, uh, how well this theory pans out. Okay, let me not jump right on top of you.
All right. Only two shots. careful about this because I don't know where they're going to go. Here we go. That's easily under... Oh, it's a regular hunt. Okay. That's what to say. I thought that was a... I wonder what a prime hunt counts as then. What would take... Where would, where would two and a half minutes be... A significant stretch then. Wonder what I did with this. What's uh oh What is this? Oh and I fully healed too. I didn't get my flasks back though. Seal on the night fragment. Oh oh this is a big story item. This is the item that kind of started everything. Oh, this is... oh, huh, weird. We're like at a hub area. At last you awaken, Evening Star. Corvus was starting to think you would never recover from your wounds, despite he healing yourself in the chasm. Thanks to our efforts, Ravenford has been conquered. You are now inside the hold of the last stronghold of humanity. Yeah, it is, this has definitely got to be a hub. People from all over uh, Medrim have come here. Some have merely, some merely seek salvation from the horrors of the night, while others are here to help the Order in the darkest of times. Please speak with them in the courtyard. They will support your cause and improve your arsenal. Also, you should pay a visit to Crow's Nest, our tavern, to get your hands on some hunts. When you have finished, pay a visit to, to the court of the Insomnus to learn your next objective. What do you want? Just visit, just visit Crow's Nest and listen to the words of the court of, of the Insomnus. You must visit Crow's Nest and speak with a court of the Atomnus before you leave. Okay. Alright, I got it. I do want to have a browse around though. I want to see what else is here. Yeah, I think they're... They probably had some players who just couldn't figure it out and needed to be beaten over the head with it. Bones and dust. Bones of dust. I feel the fury of those who are now gone, but why? I wonder what the Chosen One thought during his last moments of lucidity, just before he betrayed every last one of us. I think the one thing that's kind of weird for me is that, like, the portraits will pop out and then back in when they have something else to say, <laughs> and it's like, you'd expect the, the portrait to stay and then the text to just you know, continue going from there. And if, like, there's another speaker, that's normally when you, uh, when you swap out the portraits. The seal is screaming with a thousand stalkers' voices. Also, the apostrophe space thing is killing me. Um, it's really, like, right quote. Maybe an apostrophe. That's, that's it. Yet, we have strayed from the path. Corvus tried to save them all, but managed to save no one in uh, in the end. He never understood that ours is a path doomed to sacrifice. Tell me, young Blackbone, 
When has the music of the night done anything for them? When has it shown a scrap of piety? No, its music is nothing more than a merciless monologue. I do not fear death. Uh, I do not fear death, creatures, or the dark. I just want to be able to infuse my feather when the time comes. I don't want to end up lost to oblivion. So the feathers are basically like records from... Basically, it seems like whatever hunters have not made it, or whatever stalkers have not made it, or whatever they're... I think they're stalkers, right? I think. Bloodlines. The only blood that matters is the one that splashes on the ground when we fight. Nothing else. Seed of the traitor or not, you are still a stalker. Oh! Okay, that, that kind of makes it a bit more interesting then. So she is the, potentially the daughter or the, uh, the descendant of the, the original dude who, dis who totally said, fuck it, we're gonna betray everybody. Are we worthy successors? Of oh yeah, Malachine is the one, yeah. I think Malachine is the, potentially the traitor, maybe? Time to find out. When the light of Polaris, the North Star, blinks three consecutive times as a baby girl is born, unspeakable power is passed onto them, and they are consequently brought to the court of the of, a, of the Insomnus. Insomnus. Within the chamber, the child is exposed to an overwhelming amount of dark energy. If she adapts, the Insomnus name her Voice of the Night. Profici proficiency in the language of the night is considered an honor for the family of the child, as she will help translate the prophetic visions of the court. As you may know, uh, Brielle Spiegel is the current voice of the night, and the most virtuous voice we have seen in ages. Explorers say the night is never has never managed to enter the Cathedral of Bledisville. How is it even possible? It's funny how like uh, this has very much like the, the sort of like older RPG style of like Everybody gives you a little piece, and you gotta kind of dissemble it. And there's probably like an, an order that makes the most sense, but I never figure it out. Did we chat? It's said that the fifth murderer found a fragment of the seal in Ravenford. If Corvus manages to find the remaining fragments, we may still have hope. Gonna reseal the night and make this worse. Sometimes it's hard for me to distinguish if someone is transforming or not. Well, better safe than sorry, I suppose. No. No, don't randomly kill people. These people are dead already. Uh, who knows? Please, I beg you to hear my plea. Grant us strength to fight. Uh, grant wisdom to the Insomnus and will to the Cloakbearer to, to guide us. I don't know who the Cloakbearer is. Dark Dawn. Why does this one look kind of grayed out? A famous great sword that once belonged to the house of Bradbury. Slow and powerful, heavy weapons are uncommon among stalkers, but have proven vital against extremely resilient night creatures. Now, I, I think I see this weapon in some of the trailer material, and like the you know some of these characters are wearing are basically equipped with one of them. Actually, at least three of them, four of them. Five of them. And I didn't see what this one had. I got that one. Now it is power. Yep. Well, look who it is. The Pale Cat herself. Are you going to betray us at the last minute too, Blackbone? I mean... Without the seal of the night, humanity is doomed. I've got some of it. I got like one piece. Or Oh crap, you know what? I needed this thing. The eye of the night. I can't remember where there's a room that I was supposed to have gone to that had um a statue saying, put the eye back, and then, you know. Um 
you get something out of it, and I forgot to go back, and I don't know where it is. So this is the one of the fragments of the seal. So the hope of mankind, found at the beginning of the Ninth Age in the Chamber of Awakening. Despite coming from origins unknown, the seal was capable of generating an artificial, everlasting day cycle, absorbing dark energy and transforming it into light, using the life essence of the most powerful stalkers as its fuel. Uh, I've crossed the threshold. I've crossed the threshold. Curse this Danville Knight. I can't believe it. It's only a matter of time now. I... I don't want to die. Possibly right quotation mark things weird. Yeah. 90% of this font is silver. Ah. Uh, my guess with the apostrophe thing is maybe... I think this is a bad search and replace in the first place, and they had maybe accidentally left the space in there and, and just didn't even notice. Because I don't think, if they're using a font that is commonly used, like, it, like the font definitely does not look, it doesn't look a standout, unique font. This looks familiar. Um, although I will admit, I'm like, for me, the fonts I recognize are like Optimus Princeps and shit, you know? <laughs> or uh, Roboto and fucking, um, what's the other one? Uh, how do I forget these things? Futura. Um, those are the ones I recognize the most. Um, but they both blended together in my head. I would just recognize it as one or the other. Uh, there are a lot of infused feathers scattered around the world, bearing the last wills of our fellow, fellow stalkers. Some of them contain information about the history of both uh, Medrum and our order, while others may contain intel that may prove useful to your travels or hunts. They've been, they've been kind of useful, like, so vaguely informative so far. Uh, okay. Well, at least I got a weapon out of it. I got some vague scattered information in a weapon. What more can you ask for? Not sure. Hold on a sec. Oh, shit. Is this, hold on, is this where, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wasn't I just working through this? I don't know if we just recaptured it or... Is this is this the same place I was just in earlier? No, oh, Alchemist. You can use Noctelian- there we go, finally, use for my money. You can use Noctelian to buy upgrades for your arsenal. There are three different levels of upgrade. Level 1 to level 3. Each side of Esper requires one of them. A full column of upgrades will be unlocked for every arsenal weapon. Hmm. Select and change your upgrades in the Upgrade tab. Esper can only have one active upgrade for each weapon. Be sure to select the right one for every different situation. Okay. Uh... I didn't see anything in there. Did I get money? A bit more Lytrium, yes. It's almost the right color now. Perfect. Extremely lethal. Oh, sorry. Didn't notice you there. You are Vesper Blackbone. Daughter, daughter of... Bah, what does the name matter? In the end, it's just another empty word. You may call me Xylax. I am the leader of the Apothecaries of Steel and creator of the famous Plague of Mono. Did you invent COVID? Some say that you were the only. You, so say that you were the one who liberated the fortress from the grasp of those horrid creatures. Only a scant few have ever managed to utilize the dark energy of the night like you do, Vesper. We produced the plagum that you stalkers use against those creatures. Oh, the bottles! But I tell you now, the plagum was always meant to heal, not to destroy. I've been working on making the plagum even better, and I think I can improve the formula soon. Our people are losing hope and I mean to bolster their hearts. Unfortunately, I still lack certain key elements, and I would like you to locate them for me. Believe me when I say it could save countless people. Yes, this progress could open up a whole new line of research and revolutionary treatments. Oh, and create new tools of war, of course. 
find the secret laboratories of my order and bring back the corruption sample stored there. Here, take this key and locate the one in Grimwood first. You must hurry, Vesper. A bit more Lytrium... Okay, didn't notice me there. Oh no. 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 No, terrible owl. Can't you default to no? I can't leave. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, let me double check. Wait, wait, no, 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 something... Shit. Ah, let me start over. Fuck. Gather and we should upgrade your stock arsenal. Would you like to improve your ordinary competent? Hold on, let me, let me repeat this. Gather Natalium. Ah, it's not going to be... This is the one time it won't give me the ability to re to repeat this. Hold on, hold on, start... So, gather an artillery and I shall upgrade your soccer arsenal. Would you like to try to improve your rudimentary combat tactics? A little bit of science, you can thank me later, my lady. Hold on, not yet. Let's start over. Can you, like, do the whole thing? Ah, I can't read the dialogue. Fuck. Okay. Fine. Have, have, have my money. Shit. Uh, well, well. Seems like that dark energy of yours, uh, that dark energy of yours may yet grow. Glad to see you have come to your senses, my lady. Behold, the power of science. Oh, a, a play game. Oh, this is that, uh, that shit I can do. Yeah, 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 I can. Now I can, like, just upgrade all of these. Uh, more damage, chance for bullets to cause plague on hit. Plague him coated bullets release infectious agents and cause corrosion and impact. After just a few seconds, the plague spreads throughout the host's target. Wow, that is, this is, the, this is the problem. This is why I hate, I hate align justify, because, like, Sure, it fits the it fits the rectangle, but like, look at the giant spacing on that. Like, I think a line justify needs to die. It needs to go. Um, after just a few seconds, the plague spreads throughout through the target's cardiovascular system, severely poisoning them. Um, more damage, or not really more damage? No, no, no. Just gives you slightly more, slightly more stuff. Um, developed by the apothecaries. This upgrade adds an improved cylinder choke to the Damascus barrel shotgun, increasing its maximum range. 50% chance that the bolts explode and burn enemies. Uh, powder infused bolts explode in contact, damaging and uh, burning and damaging enemies. Okay, well, we, you know, put them all on, I guess, for now. This sword scares me, though. It probably does a lot, like excellent damage, but short range and slow is scary. I thought I was going to be able to loop back around and reread the dialogue. Now I feel bad. This is where I came in from. Yeah, Twitch is really aggressive about not like uh, no, you can't manipulate spaces. I think the reason why is because people were doing it to. Um, People were doing it in order to, um, to, like, fake chat messages from other people back when Twitch had a more static, uh, static window. Look for the chat. Hello, Evening Star. I am Yvain, an adept of Alina. My people follow the path of Our Lady. We delight in her music and embrace peace in the night. You stalkers draw upon the vast, unfettered power of the night and use it as a weapon, forgetting its true nature. Your kind live by the day and fear the night. You borrow its power, yet fear its changes. Such a paradox. There is no such thing as death in the night, only change. Those who resist what is to come fight against the great cycle. Malachane was wrong. Nature is not human-hearted. Giving Natalium to Dahlia will increase the amount of healing roses you can carry at the same time. Giving her a bag of seeds will allow Dahlia to grow more powerful roses that will recover more health. Uh, welcome. The name's Dahlia. Nice to meet you. I honor the memory of the departed with all kinds of flowers. It may sound strange, but I do believe their memories rest in these flowers, guiding and strengthening those who fight against the night. I, I don't know how to fight, and the night took away all my loved ones. I know what they say about you, but I don't care. I want to help you. Please let me prove that I can still be useful and allow me to aid you during your hunts. 
With enough enough Noctilium, I increased your healing resources. Or no, I guess there's no no comma here. I, I'm not a big fan of this font, to be fair. I feel like it's a bit unreadable. It's like a little a little too thin. And uh like the difference between a comma and a period is like it's almost like two pixels. I can increase your healing uh, with enough Noctilium, I can increase your healing resources. Maybe these flowers light your path in your darkest moments, Stalker. Also, the lion height is too is too short. You're back, Vesper. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I just I didn't even leave yet. Seeing you always makes me smile. Have you come to increase your healing resources? I don't know if I can afford it, but I'll try. Not enough Noctilium. Uh. Well, I mean, I uh, I don't know if that was a good choice or not. Burning enemies will cause them to suffer severe damage during a short period of time. Plagum is highly harmful to night creatures. It will poison them, causing damage over time. The more Plagum percentage you have, the bigger the probability you have of envenoming your enemies. Hemokinesis is the ability to control blood at will, allowing you to steal life on a hit from the enemies you damage. The more Hemokinesis percentage you have, the bigger probability you have of stealing life. This very much reminds me of, you know that, um, the tutorial cave in Final Fantasy VI? Or, I guess, many of them. <laughs> Where everyone's, like, like they're scholars. I can't remember, I think this is Final Fantasy VI. One of them had a very distinct one. Where everyone's just, like, doing research off to the side. The court of the Insomnus is graded with powerful visions. None can ever escape their glance. Doggo. You better let me to pet the dog. Why though? This is free Twitter publicity. I don't sense death here. Your reputation precedes you, Vesper Blackbone. The traitor spawn, as your kin calls you. Now back to the VOD to find the first two dialogue boxes from the NPC. Oh yeah, yeah, you don't mind. Yeah. Yet, yet the genetic memory of our ancestors informs me of your lineage. Heiress of the Sanguine, I shall hereby call you. Vesper, daughter of uh, Maria. I am Beatrice, a member of the Blood of Fell Royalty. Through my veins runs the will of a thousand generations. From the north we discovered the trail of a creature of great power, no doubt in pursuit of you stalkers. The gates of Bledisfell are no longer safe, and I fear your leader is leading you like sheep to the slaughter. Now you must leave. Yet, yeah, I sense weakness in your blood. You have neglected the sanguine traditions, a luxury I dare say you cannot afford as of now. The heirloom of your people will allow you to enter the sanguine chambers. In them lies the power of the Crimson Lake. I'm guessing this is where you get the hemo... the... what is it? Um, uh, Hemomancy? Whatever, whatever the, the magic was. Hidden crimson roses mark the spot. There your ancestors will awaken within you, invigorating your body. Now leave us. May Mother make you worthy of seeing the Lake of Blood again. Okay, greets, my lady. You are gazing upon the most brilliant mind of Menrim, but you may call me Sir Isaac Harkin. I work for the Apothecaries of Steel in your service of Master Xylex. We are people of science. As strange as it may sound to you hunters of corruption, uh, to, to you hunters of corruption, you may support our cause for the sake of progress. In exchange, of course, I will be happy to offer you some upgrades for your old-fashioned weaponry. Okay, perfect.